Okay. 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 Alright, texting, double texting, triple texting and coming across as needy while texting is something that I want to talk about today because uh, yeah we've got a few guys that are worried to text too much because they're afraid of uh, coming across as too needy and uh, that's definitely a topic that I want to discuss today because I don't see it as as an issue at all. Um, being persistent, texting a lot, uh, I would much prefer uh, my guys to text a lot, fast, rapidly, get it out of the way, uh, get your your leads to the logical conclusion as fast as possible, uh, so that you can then delete the lead and forget about the lead. That's not a needy thing, that's that's a, an efficiency thing. It's like, oh, look, I, I got the girl's number, so I want to meet up with her, I want to line up a date. Um, why not push it through? If she, I'm of the belief that even the most busiest girls in the entire world, you get their number, they will come and meet up with you fast. You know, if, if you're being super pushy and you expect her to turn up immediately you know literally within 24 hours or something like that that's a little bit ridiculous and I think the mindset of um, you coming across as super needy that that advice comes from a bunch of guys that aren't really having much success as it is uh, a lot of the guys the, the guys that are putting out this content because I had this conversation with one of the guys uh, he was just saying, look, I'm worried about coming across needy um, because I've been watching all these YouTube videos and all these coaches out there have been t saying online apparently that uh, if you text too much, too, too rapidly, too often, uh, you're going to come across needy. And I was like, so what if you do come across needy? Like, are, are you really upset if you lose that lead? Um, are you going to cry yourself to sleep? Or are you just trying to push it through and try to get to its logical conclusion as fast as possible? Um, if that's the case, then that's not really needy, is it? If anything, you're pushing it through because you don't really care. Um, there's like a lot of these... Whoops! I'm going to get up, go for a walk around. The perception is that they're going to come across uh, somehow weak and living in scarcity or something along those lines. I don't fully understand that point of view. If you're pushing it through and pumping out a lot of texts and then she rejects you because of that, she's doing you a favor because you, you get to, it's, it's an inner game thing, you get to clean your phone out of all of these leads and then move on and find some more leads. So, this whole idea, it's, uh, I don't, don't fully understand it either. Um, let's just say you are coming across as needy. Let's, let's just play that out. I tried to play that, um, that idea out before. And um, I said, what if you do come across needy? Okay, she thinks less of you for coming across needy. Like you're like you're a guy that just can't get laid and you're super duper desperate. What if that's the case? Then you might be pushing her away, I guess that, I, I get that, I totally understand that point of view. But I would argue that most of them, if you're texting and pushing it through, would just be like, okay, well this guy's demanding, he's pushy, he expects more, wouldn't it be doing the opposite? Wouldn't, wouldn't you be um, letting her know that you expect her to reply and line up a date, come hang out with you as fast as possible? 
because you have higher standards for yourself and you have all this self-belief wouldn't that be what you're projecting by just texting like a maniac and trying to make it happen as fast as possible that's my belief anyway I tend to believe that would be more the case and if you're you're doing it the way I suggest you do it which is you just want to push it through to its logical conclusion if she I, I believe that you cannot you cannot build rapport via text you just can't so if you're just pushing through to try and get the date I believe that she's already made up her mind whether she wants to date you anyway and the difference between pushing it through means that within one week say or three days or something like that four days you're going to get rejected rather than you sending blocks of text every day and thinking and wasting all that time and effort trying to text her continuously to try and uh, get to the point where you can line up a date and then eventually she rejects you anyway I would say pushing it through faster you end up saving a lot of that time and effort uh, by getting to the end faster I'm of the belief that she's made up her mind whether she's going to date you regardless obviously if you you make some rookie mistakes by you know getting angry at her or texting something that is offensive or uh, you know saying something that uh, scares her somehow you know just basic stupid rookie mistakes or you, you text something that is weird or creepy as long as you're not, you're not doing anything like that and you're just pushing it through and just okay so we're gonna we're gonna meet up tomorrow what do you what do you want to do what's your hobbies you know what type of food do you like it's like pushing it through and eventually she's like oh no I can't meet you uh, she saved you some time and as soon as you empty that phone then you can get to work on uh, filling that phone back up um, so this whole this whole idea of coming across needy because you text too much then then she's like hey this guy's too needy so I don't want to meet up with him wouldn't how could you become needy by texting her in the first place unless she was not interested in meeting you anyway how's that for another way to look at it if she's not interested in in meeting up with you and she's not replying obviously the she might be busy um, you know there might be work there might be some uni exams she might be studying there might be something going on um, where she can't reply to you fast enough takes a few days off sure those things can happen sure uh, but let's just say that isn't the case and you you're pushing it through and then, then she's like oh this guy's needy but the thing is uh, she would have replied to you earlier and met up with you earlier and you wouldn't have come across needy if she would have been uh, far more agreeable and ready to go and compliant and, and ready to meet up with you as soon as possible or at least texting you back and keeping the conversation going and investing in the conversation then you wouldn't have come across needy in the first place right so the girl that's not interested in you forces you to text her more and then you come across as apparently needy uh, and then eventually she has to just reject you outright maybe it's just because she should have rejected you off the cold approach in the first place she shouldn't have given you her number in the first place if she didn't want to meet up with you or she was on the fence she was uh, having second thoughts about meeting you anyway and by pushing it through and double texting triple texting texting her every day to try and make things happen and she's like look you're texting too much leave me alone well that's only because she wasn't compliant at all and wasn't investing in the conversation wasn't really interested in you in the first place so he pushed it through and made it happen got to the end she did you a favor uh, and this is this is an inner game thing where next thing you know you you delete her contact you've forgotten about her you don't have to think about what to text the girl next and why isn't she texting me you delete her contact from your phone delete her from your memory and boom we're out there trying to find some more leads
find a girl that's actually interested in you. She's not wasting your time, and time is money, time is resources uh, that can be spent somewhere else. So hopefully that, hopefully that gives a little bit of insight as to how I see this. I tend to believe that this is the right way to look at it. And, um, you know, my guys have been saying that they've been seeing a lot of videos online about, you know, guys giving this advice. I just think that it's wrong. Um, you're only going to come across needy if she wasn't interested in you in the first place. So pushing it through harder is only doing you a, a, a favour by freeing up some more time that could be spent, time and resources that could be spent, allocated somewhere else. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if you guys want to get out there and uh, do some cold approach coaching, top link in the description, go to my website, sign up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.